give you a super quick intro to using the Quarto title pages, Quarto extension to create title pages and cover pages for your PDF output. So here's an example of a title page you could create. Here's an example of a cover page. In this extension, the look of your title page and cover page is completely customizable. So let's see how you do it. First thing we want to do is install the extension. I'm going to use this to install to a new folder, and that'll give me some demo files that I can use. So I want to copy that. I want to go to terminal, and I paste that in. Has to trust it. Yes. Okay. And then um, it's going to ask me the directory that I want to. Uh, call this. It's going to put all the files into that directory. So I'll just call my title page. All right. So I'm going to go over here and I'm using um, our studio as my editor. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. So here I have opened up the, my title page and you can see it's got uh, some uh, demo files here for you to use and then the extension is here. Here, there it is and it's got all its various code. But you don't need to care about that. Let's go back over here. So it's getting you an example a quarto file. You can open that and it can render this. Now, if you're using our studio as your editor, you um, it comes with Quarto installed as long as you're using a very recent version of our studio. So update that if you have an older version. And you need, do need to be able to render uh, PDFs. So you're going to need to install um, Tiny Tech. That's the one I recommend that works really well with Quarto. So I go ahead and render. And there you go. It uh, rendered it here. Here's the cover page and the title page. All right, so now let's think about how we can start adapting this. Let's say that we like this theme okay, but we want to switch things around a bit. So, I mean, obviously we're going to have our own logo here, but we may want to just change the format a bit. And let me show you how you, you can do that. So first thing you want to do, that is, um, let's go over to the uh, help file. This is uh, NIMPS OpenSci Quarto title pages. And then you're going to go to your themes here. And I want to alter this one. And I can go here. It's going to tell me the code. So here's the code that I need. Um, so these are the themes that make that page look the way it does. And I just want to grab, so I'm going to leave this part. That's already in the demo file. I want to grab this, start putzing with it. So I'm going to grab that, head back over here. And when you look at the YAML in the example file, like this is just like standard author stuff. And down here is where you start to get to the extension stuff. The extension provides this title page PDF for you. If you're working with PDFs, you need to specify the document class that specifies the overall look of your PDF. This uses the Como sourcebook. Uh, the source, uh, the article one is another common one. And then when we get down here, the things that are, have title page, title page hyphen, or cover page, cover page hyphen, those are the things that are coming with the extension. And I don't want this header footer stuff. I'm going to put this in here because this is what I'm going to alter. So let's make that. Okay. So here we go. 
So the this stuff in the title page theme is what is making that theme look the way it does. And let's walk through each of these. First thing, elements. This tells you the order that things appear on the page. We've got our title block, author block, then we have some stretchable space, affiliation block, logo block, and footer block. Let's say that we didn't want the logo and the footer on there. We wanted just the title, the author, affiliation, and we want that stretchable space to appear at the bottom. So there we go. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. We got the title here, this, this, and then we have a lot of space down there. That's kind of what we're looking for. Um, okay, that's getting better. But we don't actually want this logo here. Let's get rid of that. So... What I want for my back, I don't want this logo. What I want is I want this logo here. I want that as my background image. I don't need that logo because I don't have that. I could get rid of the header and footer, but I just leave that. Okay, so this is what I want as my background image. And I want it to appear in the bottom right. So let's go here, background image location. And so I want lower right corner down there. And, uh, oh, the size. Let's see. And it's relative to paper width. You can put in any size you want. Um, actually, let's change this to one inch. Okay. So that's going to be my image size. It's going to be in the lower right corner. That's all good. All right, so now that I've moved that around, um, I think I should change this upper geometry. So I want the top to be one inch from the top. The bottom, you see now I've got that logo down there, so I really want to move that up to three inch and these can stay the same. Let's see how it's looking. Nice. Okay, so we've got this up at the top. Good. I've got that there. I've got that how I want it. It's starting to look how I want. And then my logo. Mm. My logo is down there. I don't like that. Okay, so that, I'm not going to be able to fix that because uh, actually I don't have any space around my logo. I don't have any margin. Yeah, I don't think that is really something that's going to be fixable given my logo image. So I need to come up with a different logo image to fix that. Let's see if I have anything here. Okay, I'm going to do just to play around with this ring seal just so you can see. See, what I need to do is make a logo image that um, had some spacing on it. The nature of the background image package that's being used is that you you can't really kind of move things around. It's, you know, it's pushed all the way down at the bottom. But let's see a different image. Okay, so you can imagine here, you know, you've, you've created an image that had a little space around it. It would uh, fit all right. That's kind of tiny. Now that I see that, I would actually like that to be more like three inches. And oh, that's better. Okay, so now you can kind of see how I've got this. Maybe I want to make this, um, I don't, I don't like it being that small. I'd like it to be bigger. Um, and so now I can go here, my font style. So within tech, you there are these like sizes of things. It has uh, tiny, small, large, um, huge. But maybe you really 
want to specify a very specific font size. So I want a font size of 20. It's uh, in points, but don't enter the points. There, it will complain. Probably complain. Actually, I haven't tested it. Maybe it won't complain. There we go. It's a nice big. Uh, probably have to move that title down a little bit so it looks better. So, yeah. And um, I could also put in a different font family. Uh, I can change the spacing of everything. All that can be customized. Just go into the documentation and read up on all the different options. Hope that was helpful and gets you started.